Do you know what your A1C is? You should. That's one of the most important laboratory tests your caregiver will get uh, to determine how your diabetes has been doing over the prior three months. Now, the really important thing you need to know is that it just represents an average. If you're someone with type 1 or type 2 and you're bouncing all over the place from 40 to 400, you're just going to get one number. It doesn't tell you about the bounce. But if you have type 2, most of the time that A1C is uh, very valuable and tells us how that we're doing. Now, what does the A1C represent? It represents your average blood sugar over the prior three months. So if you tested your blood sugar every hour for 24 hours for three months, you'd have heck of a sore fingertips for sure. And you took that average, that would sort of equate to what your A1C is. It comes as a percentage. And you know, usually the laboratory uh, sheet will give you, if you have an A1C of seven, your average blood sugar is 155. And, and for most people, the goal is less than seven. Now, it's really important to know that everybody's goal should be individualized. If you're an older individual and you have heart disease, and your goal may be less than 8%. The younger you are, the longer you have to live typically, the more aggressive we want to be. However, if you have hypoglycemia unawareness and every time you start trying to get an A1C less than seven, you have a lot of bad lows, then that goal may not be for you. So the, the bottom line is you should know what your goal is. You should know what the numbers mean and work hard to achieve it. And remember, it, it doesn't happen overnight. It, it, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And work with your caregiver to get your individual goal. Good luck.